Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of our G Fuel project. So we modeled our G Fuel, we UV unwrapped our G Fuel, put the label on it, uh, we adjusted it, we made a scene, and we tracked our camera into our G Fuel, or we animated the camera somehow. I don't know how you did it, but I tracked the camera into our G Fuel. And now we want to render our animation, finalize our animation, save it onto our computer. So we're just going to jump right into it. Uh, you might still have your node editor open. We're going to turn that back to a timeline. By default, you might have it set to 250. If you ended your keyframes before that, maybe at 200 like I did, um, you're probably going to want to end it around that range or maybe a little bit further back, maybe 210, and just leave uh, a few frames just uh, stuck on that G Fuel leave it on that G Fuel until you maybe fade it out or something. So you might want those extra frames. Anyway, so you would set your end frames to uh, whatever you want right here. And you might want to start it at zero. By default, it might be started at one. So change that to zero. Um, okay, so you've set your start and end frames. That's the most important thing. Now we're going to go up here to our camera. This is uh, your render settings. By default, yours might be set to 50%. You can just drag it to 100, like I did, if you want a higher quality render. Uh, this will save at a lower resolution, at 50%. Uh, depends on your computer processing power, whatever you want to do. Uh, I set it to 100%. Um, output is probably the most important thing that you have to pay attention to right here. Just make sure that you've made a new folder to save your render in because it's going to be saving as a PNG sequence. It's always important to save your renders as a PNG sequence because God forbid your computer crashes in the middle of your render and you're saving it as some sort of video file, you're going to lose the whole file. So you want to save it as a PNG sequence. It's going to be a series of pictures from 0 frames to 210 frames depending on what you set it to. So you want a brand new folder just to keep yourself organized. So you're going to find that folder by opening it up, and I already have it opened here to my G Fuel render, and I had already rendered it, so it rendered uh, all 210 frames, right? So that's what's going to happen with yours. So once you've found your folder, you hit accept, all right, and you are for the most part ready to render. So yeah, I think you're good to go. With that, you are going to now render your animation by clicking animation. So this is the part where you have to wait until it renders all 210 frames. So now you can take another break while you're rendering. <laughs> if you really don't care about quality, you can save it at 50% and save yourself like half the time. So go ahead and do that if you want to. So we're back. Our computers have rendered our animation and we can find it in the files that we saved it to. Uh, and you can see that it rendered all of these images. This is your animation. All right, 210 frames. Okay, that's great, but you can't play all these pictures. So we gotta convert these PNG files into a video file that we can play for other people to see. So, let's just make sure we save our work. I'm going to open a new file because I think that would just be easier for all of us. So, save your work, save your project, always save your project. Go to new, reload startup file, yes. Okay, so, we're going to go up to video editing in our default workspace, change it to video editing. We're going to add image, we're going to desktop. Uh, find our sequence and we are going to box select which we can do in here uh, hit B and select everything that you have B drag it over okay you got everything selected add image strip okay alright so we got I guess 211 frames here. And when we hit play, it's playing very, very slowly. But whatever. We know it's going to be alright. 
Okay. So that's all good. Now, we can pause that. Let's go back to default. Now, let's uh, drag this over. Bring that to 100. Uh, gotta change our frames to what we have. 211 frames. Cool. Now, make a folder. Uh, hmm. Or you could, maybe you could save it with your renders. I don't think that really matters because it's going to be a different name. So you could save it in your renders folder, whatever, or save it to your desktop. Yeah, that's a better idea. Save it to your desktop. Okay. Now we're going to go... That was an output, by the way. we got to stay here. We're turning it into... FFmpeg. Yeah. Okay, da, 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 da. encoding, uh, container, mpeg4, yes. High quality, medium speed, good, good. mpeg4, got it. Okay, so make sure your settings are like mine. Saving it to our desktop, 24 frames per second. Neato. Now hit animation, render animation. There's some noise here that has to do with uh, the sampling and the lighting. Those are called fireflies. We don't really like these, but <laughs> it is what it is. It's not too noticeable. Okay, now let's go to our desktop and see if it's saved, which it did. Nice. Now we can play it. Nice. That's a little slow for my liking, but... We did it, guys. Shut up. We did it, guys. <laughs> what even is PewDiePie flavor? I don't know, but darn it if I don't want to buy it just looking at this animation. Delicious. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have a G Fuel animation that you want to post to r slash blender never sleeps, please do that. That is your homework. I will be reviewing your homework in a later video uh, from the first video and this one. A few of you have posted and I really appreciate that. That makes me feel like I'm doing something right. So thank you. Post your G Fuel animation. Post it to PewDiePie's submission subreddit because there needs to be more PewDiePie related things in there. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to PewDiePie. I hope you liked this video, I hope you took a lot away from this video, and I hope I taught you a lot. I think the next videos uh, regarding Blender tutorials, I think we're just gonna jump right into character modeling because that's the path that I took. I went from modeling a few inanimate objects, learning how to texture them just a little bit, and then I jumped right into uh, modeling characters because that's what I really wanted to get out of Blender. So I think that's the path we're headed. So the next video, I think I'm going to teach you guys how to model a head the way I learned. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.